today we're here to talk about safety and what you already know about safety. I'm going to ask you all some questions to see how much you know about staying safe in emergencies. What do you do when the school fire alarm goes off? Go outside! That's right, correct. You go outside if there is a fire. Now, where would you go if a tornado was coming? Go, go inside. inside! That's right, we would go inside. Now, for a tougher question, what does it mean to evacuate? Leave and go to a safe place. Great job. Evacuate means to leave and go to a safe place so you can protect yourself and keep safe. Sometimes in an emergency, we may be asked to shelter in place. And today we're gonna to talk about how to shelter in place during a chemical release. We have a special friend with us. You've met him before, and uh, I'd like you to meet him again. He's going to tell us more about how you can protect yourself and your family when you have to shelter in place. And as you remember, my friend Wally is a little shy, so let's put our hands together and welcome Wally. Wally! 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 All right! How are you, buddy? So, Wally, we've been talking about uh, emergencies, and today we're talking about sheltering in place. And we want to know how and do you know when to shelter in place? That's right, the siren sounds. And Wally, how do you shelter in place? That's right, in your shell. Man, we don't have shells though. So Wally, you shelter in place in your shell. After we hear the sirens, we need to go into a shelter and shelter any place like our house or our school. So Wally, is sheltering in place as easy as going inside? Nope, that's right. We also need to close all the doors and windows in case any bad air is outside and we want to keep it outside since we're inside. So now we're protected, right Wally? No, that's right, we got to cut off the AC. So after we hear the siren, then we go inside, then we shut all the doors and windows, we turn off the AC. So Wally, is there anything else we need to do to stay safe? You're right, the shelter in place kit. Okay. So how about we go through this shelter in place kit and see what we need to finish this job up. What is this plastic for? Oh, that's right, right, the windows. But how do we cut it? That's right, scissors, and then how do we get it to stay? That's right, the duct tape. So we got plastic, scissors, and duct tape. Okay, so now we can hang up our plastic. So Wally, how does this look? Awesome. There's a lot of good stuff in this shelter in place kit, but what is this towel for? Are you planning on taking a bath? Oh, okay, that's right. You're gonna put the towel under the door to keep the bad air out. All right, excellent. So Wally, we've got plastic, scissors, duct tape, and a towel in our shelter in place kit. Is that everything? No? Okay. Oh. Wow, cool. It's a phone. And you, I'm wondering if I can beat your high score in that last game. No, no, okay. Yeah, that's right. The phone is for getting good information about what's happening during the shelter in place. So we need to keep the phone open and our battery charged so we can receive the good information. Oh, here's a radio. Since we gotta do that, we can always listen to the radio. Yeah, songs. No, no, okay, okay, that's right. We're supposed to wait for important updates. So, in our shelter in place kit so far, we have plastic, 
duct tape, scissors, a towel, the phone, and the radio. Is that everything? No? Okay, what else do we need, Wally? Are you getting hungry? All right, here. You know, you never know how, might, how long you might be sheltering in place, so you gotta make sure you got some snacks and some water. Here you go, Wally. All right. Wally, I was thinking when you shelter in place, sometimes the electricity goes out and I can't see very well and I'm kind of scared of the dark. Okay, what do you got? Oh, a flashlight, perfect. Yes, all right, that will help me so much. And look, we got extra batteries. I think this is great to be putting in the shelter in place kit. Uh, Wally, we also might have to shelter in place for a long time. So what else do we need? First aid kit, perfect. And don't forget, if you've got any family members that are on medication, you probably wanna have some of their medication in your first aid kit. So Wally, it looks like we had our kit all together. What do we got in here? We got the plastic, the duct tape, the scissors, the towel to keep the bad air out. We have a phone and a radio to get any news or information about the situation going on. And last but not least, we have food, water, and a flashlight with extra batteries and a first aid kit. It looks like we have everything we need to stay safe. How will we know when we can stop sheltering in place? That's right, the all clear. That lets us know when everything is safe and we can go outside. Did you hear that, Wally? We are all clear. It's the all clear. All right, so now we can open up our doors and windows, turn our AC back on, and we're good to go. So Wally, let's review what we learned today. We've got it on this board right here. Shelter in place. We go indoors. We close all doors and windows. We turn off the AC and heat. We turn on the radio TV. We stay off the phone and we wait for the all clear. And that keeps us all safe. One more thing. Make sure you have a shelter in place kit in your home. You all did a great job learning today and remembering the shelter in place kit items and concepts and Wally Wise Guy's message that when a chemical release occurs, we can shelter in place. Today, that's all we have, so stay safe and we will see you next time. Bye.